So we're ready to go ahead and put our cylinder heads on. I'm just going to pull off the cylinder hold down bolts that we were using to hold the cylinders on. Next, I'm going to drop on our head gaskets. Because this is a two liter, these have a composite head gasket, so you got to be careful how they go past the studs. Just make sure it sits all the way down on the barrel. Before I put the cylinder head on, I need to lubricate the threads for the cylinder head studs. And I'm just using copper grease. You can use any type of NDCs that you would like. Now I'm just going to take my cylinder heads and drop each head on. Make sure it sits down on the studs. So the next thing I want to do is install my head stud washers. So I'm just going to use a screwdriver. And if I put the screwdriver on top of the stud, I can drop the washer down the screwdriver and just make sure it is seated all the way into the cylinder head. This is the best way to do this. That way you don't end up dropping a washer where you don't want it to go. So lastly, I want to put my head nuts on. So I've just got it sitting on my deep 10 millimeter Allen head socket. And I don't want to tighten these up at this stage. So I just want to screw them down until they make contact with the washer. And that is it for right now. So what I'm going to do next is there's some little bits of assembly oil where my cam box is going to sit on the ceiling surfaces. So I want to go ahead and wipe that assembly oil out of there. So when we apply our Loctite 574, it's got a nice clean and dry surface to be applied to. All right, so before I try and put my cam box on, I need to put in my oil return tubes. I've already installed O-rings on each end. I'm just using some silicone paste, and we're just going to liberally load up the O-rings. These do not require any type of gasket sealer or silicone or 574. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply our 574 to our sealing surfaces. So I don't need to put any sealant in here. I'm mainly concerned around this surface, a little bit across here, and then around these surfaces. I want to make sure that we get around all of the bolt holes because the oil can travel up the threads.
So once I've got it on, I'm just going to spread it around with my finger. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put the cam box on. I've got to make sure that I line up my oil return tubes. And the reason why we left our cylinder heads loose is to allow everything to move around as the cam box is installed. So I'm just going to use a uh, plastic hammer just to seat the cam box onto the dowels. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull this down with my 8mm nuts starting from the center out and working my way around. And when I look down inside the ports around the valves we should see a nice even ooze of the Loctite 574 coming out. So that's how we know we've got a good seal on everything. Now this is time sensitive. Once you apply the sealant to the cam box, you have about 15 to 20 minutes of working time. So you want to make sure that when you do this, you're not going to have any interruptions. You're not going to answer the phone or have something come in that's going to stop you from getting this tightened down. So the tightening torque on these is going to be 25 newton meters or 18 foot pounds and I'm just going to work my way from the center out again. And we've got our cam box installed so we can move on to our head studs next. So now our cam box is all talked down, I'm going to go ahead and tighten our cylinder head nuts. Now the reason why I leave the nuts loose at first is because the cam box is what locates the cylinder heads. They have to locate their dowels into the cam box. They can move around on the cylinder heads. So we just want to locate everything in the cam box then tighten to the heads. The heads I'm going to do in two stages. The final torque is going to be 35 newton meters, but I'm going to bring it up to 25 first. And I'm just going to crisscross pattern, starting from the center head and working my way out.
Okay, so now I've gone through the first stage. I'm going to reset my torque wrench and move to the second stage. So we've done 25 newton meters and we're coming up to 35 newton meters. So that's it for this side. I'm going to roll it over, repeat the same process on the other side, and then we'll be ready to start moving on to installing cams and cam boxes. So I've just gone ahead and put the left chain box on. To do that, I took our timing chain and just let it fold down in. So all I'm going to do now is get it to come just over our stud like this. And this one's ready to have the camshaft in, but first I'm going to roll the engine over and put the cam box in on the other side. These are the two locators for the chain box and they'll just press into the case. Okay, so we're ready to put the chain box on on this side. Just going to feed the chain up. On this one, you want to make sure that you feed it over those two studs for the chain guard first. These are going to be torqued to 25 newton meters. And the last one down here that I can't get a torque wrench on, I'm just going to feel it. Mm -hmm. 